Oh. What's the prediction here? Well, Vasilenko I think, is the one with the job to do now. Pietri, he's got nice judo. He won't be pushed around for long. His uh, positioning skills are just that little bit too, uh, too good. His positioning skills are just that little bit too good and he's a little bit too sharp for um, Vasilenko to push him around. Well, he may have had a little bit of a push at the beginning, but things have settled. Pietri's looking for him now. Going to have to be a little bit better than that to catch uh, Pietri. Fifth at the World Championships last year. And uh, a junior world champion, so he's got some pedigree as our uh, Pietri. Minute and a half gone, no score yet. Speculative there from Vasilenko. Slightly nervy moment uh, for the French coach, and now Pietri deciding to um, bamboozle Vasilenko with some uh, unnecessary foot and hand work. That was a little bit better. Didn't go through with it though, but that was a neat little faint forward and the Koichi going uh, going back. Pietri has a warning on the board. That's the only thing that's uh, up there of any note. And now um, Vasilenko showing his coach. And now Pietri coming back with, uh, with one. That's the thing, you know, Pietri is a little bit deceptive in uh, the referee's looking up the commission for something I'm not quite sure why Yuko's if there was a score then it was a score to Pietri If there's a score, it's to Pietri. Yeah, and it was. Not sure why um, there was any confusion about that. Frenchman leads by uh, a Yuko halfway through. You have to be careful with that left hand. Can't put it down there too early. It's got to come after a determined attack. Can't be simultaneous. Vasilenka looking for an opening, drops down with the uh, drop Sernagi, but doesn't uh, catch Pietri on this occasion. And now Pietri with a chance to work uh, on the arm. Not really there. And the referee calls Mate. Encouragement coming from all areas for both fighters. Off the other side, he's going to score as well. Wazari. Well, there's another one that I uh, said was going to be tricky. Vasilenko facing Pietri. We're doing well so far with the picks. 
because Pietri leads here and he could put the French ahead 2-1. to one. Minute and a half to go. Vasilenko really pressing hard now. Trying to look for an opening. But the uh, young Frenchman, Pietri, is very, very strongly built. Difficult man to break down. Really good condition. It's not going to do anything from there. And Yuko and Wazari on the board for Pietri. Everything to do now for uh, Vasilenko. Goes left sided. Pietro's up to it. Nice defense. Bonham can't look. Dimitri are dragging. Shouts encouragement. Soroka giving, um, giving it his all here. Nice movement from Pietri. Moved off the, uh, the edge there. Just avoided that. Um, but avoided it without um, making any contact. Oh, good work from uh, Vasilenko. That was some good pressure there. Just momentarily had um, Pietri in his sights. 40 seconds to go. Doesn't want to commit an error here and uh, almost walked onto it. He's given it everything, but um, Pietri's just too wily. He's just too clever. He's got good mat sense, good mat awareness, knows how to move, and uh, making it really difficult for Vasilenko. Well, there's another one that uh, goes in the correct column. Two to one now. He gave it his best shot. No shame there. Really, really good effort from Artem Vasilenko. Here's the one that's hard to call. Uh, um, Vadim Zinyavsky and Eve Matthew Daffoville. They're next up on the map. Pietri takes this one, puts France in the lead, two to one, but it's the man in the background who's got the big job. Daffoville faces Vadim Zinyavsky. Here are a few highlights from the Pietri-Vasilenko contest.